Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Smith, uh, after the Equifax uh, breach, uh, consumers learned that the best way to protect themselves from identity theft and fraud was to freeze their credit report. But when they went to do that, they found a complicated process that required contacting each of the three credit bureaus, generating and remembering separate pins for each, and most infuriating, paying 10 bucks to each bureau to place the freeze, not to mention the fees that they have to uh, incur uh, if they want to lift the freeze later. Equifax's lapse in data security will be rewarded by hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue to the company that made the mistake. And so my question for you is very simple. Explain to me why Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion charge people to freeze their credit report when there is a mistake that is their fault. Well, so there are a lot of ways for consumers to protect themselves. And for certain consumers, freezes are the right choice. I and so in those, hold on, okay. in those instances, why is it not free? If, if right the consumer... Now we have, as you know, right now we have a patchwork of, of laws. And if we were to have a single national standard, I think that, you know, we, we would be happy to talk with you about how to get that result right well, for what's consumers. What's that got to do with but a it, patchwork of laws? What's that got to do with anything? Because I'm the patchwork asking, of, Hold on. Right. I'm asking you, when a mistake occurs and 144 million people are told to do a certain thing, that certain thing should be free, shouldn't it? I don't know that, it, that everyone was told to freeze their credit report. Personally, I don't think it's the right choice for everyone. I do think that the credit bureaus make the But it's the right make choice the for freezes. some number of millions of Americans, is it not? I believe that all three of the nationwide credit bureaus make freezes available for free to, to individuals who say that they are identity theft victims. I believe that they also make freezes available for free to senior citizens and to minors. As far as a national freeze requirement, I think that I think I'm that not we would asking be you about a requirement. I'm asking you why you generate revenue off of the mistakes of the of the organizations that you represent. Well, the why is because freezes cost money, and and also the state laws. But the locks are free, right? The charge locks. I don't know from. I'm afraid. I, I saw the testimony from. You're from the, the counsel CEO for this organization. Equifax. These are new products. Uh, I'm a counsel for the Trade Association, but I know that there are all kinds of new products that credit bureaus and others are rolling out that can take advantage of, for example, apps on a, on a mobile device and lock and unlock. But I don't know that, those, that those, any of those products are necessarily in the market now. I, I, I don't understand what you're saying, and I don't think that it's because I don't understand this area. I think it's because I don't understand what you're saying because at a common sense level, I want you to try to explain to somebody you went to high school with, right, who says, oh, you got a, you got a gig with the, with the CRAs, good for you, how's that going? Let me ask you a question, Andrew. Why do I have to pay for a freeze? And I don't think you answered And the answer that is question. because freezes cost money. Freezes, freezes have to be implemented so by the credit The question is, bureaus. why did the company that made the mistake make a profit off of that mistake? Why are you charging consumers, even if the freezes cost money, Fine, you should eat it because that would create an incentive to not screw up again. I, think, I thought Equifax was providing freezes for free. But my question is why not all three and why not as a matter of course? And, well, and, and that, that only occurred after the CEO quit and under, under great pressure. I thought they offered freezes for free right up front. Nope. Um, I want to ask you a couple of questions related to a bill that I've introduced. Do you think it's a good idea for credit bureaus to use tighter matching requirements so that the trade lines on someone else, someone's credit report are more likely to be their own information? I think that matching algorithms are a really tricky issue. If you, as I'm sure you've get, done some thinking about it. And it's really a question of probabilities and statistics. And I'm not sure that we necessarily want to legislate that. But matching is critically important for accuracy. And what, what's your error rate, roughly? We believe that our error rate, so the FTC did a study, of course, as you know, in 2012. We did a similar study. And we believe that the error rate in, from our study is less than 1%. Looking at the FTC study, we believe, and this is, this is in, a, in an appendix to the FTC study, based on the FTC's data, we believe that the error rate is about 2%. Now, error. Is an, important, is an important concept here, though. It has to be an error that moves the needle, that would have an effect on the consumer. So they get my date of birth wrong. That's not necessarily an error. If it so doesn't you're move talking the about, even at the, low end, even at the low end of the estimate, you're talking about a million, two million 
individuals. Absolutely, have, and that's not a, acceptable. And, and I think that, and you know, we... whose responsibility is that? Well, it is a lot of people's responsibility, but it is, to some extent, the credit bureau's responsibility. And as far as accuracy is concerned, accuracy, Professor Rotenberg in his written testimony said that, look, you're never going to have perfect data security. There are always going to be breaches. The best we can do is to try to control them up front. Accuracy is the same way. It's a process. I'm, o I'm over time. I'll just add that I understand that you're going to make mistakes. The basic question is, who should incur the cost of those mistakes, you guys or the rest of the country? Thank you. Senator Purdue.